you in the frame yeah. here? Yeah. Mark will walk you yep. through. Yep. All right. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, good, good. Good. All right. We will uh, we'll grab a couple questions here from our gathered media. And our first uh, first question is from Ross Martin. So, Ross, uh, go ahead. There you go. Hey, oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Hey, awesome. I uh, was just wondering, you kind of take on, on your first, you know, big start um, as, I guess, a sophomore. What did you thought about your performance and maybe some things that you did well and maybe need to work on as well? Uh -huh. Well, first off, I was really excited to be starting, like, my first game. So, that, I had all the, like, you know, emotions to, to play in my first game. So, I, I just felt really excited. I think I, I did – I did pretty well for my first game. You know, I still got some things to improve on, like, you know, bumping off the twist better and just just don't, just knowing, like, what to do a little better. But I'll, I'll get there with um, with Tom, and then the next game, I'll, I'll get even better. And, and to follow up, you know, how important is having Joshua Zudu alongside you and, and alongside the lines kind of as a leader and, and someone who we've heard is very, very talented? How important is, is a Zudu? Yeah. Josh, he he's a great player, like you said, and so. But for for right now, he's out right now because you know the um his knee, and I I have Ed Montellis, who is also a very very good player too. So it just it just helped me a lot to know that these guys are next to me and helping me out. So it, it just gave me more confidence, honestly. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's uh, move over to Andrew Jones. Andrew, go ahead. Hey, awesome. I know that it's obviously not high school. In high school, you play a ton of snaps. But at what point during the game Saturday did you kind of get yourself fully acclimated that, yeah, I'm out here every snap. This is a long grind, and I've got to sort of pace myself to a degree. Uh-huh. So before the game, you know, I'm, I was, like, nervous. But I feel like after that first snap, you just, you just in it, honestly. I think our first drive was, like, a 12-play drive. And so I was just, I was like, yeah, we're out here now. So I just, I felt good on the first draft. I felt like I was in it, so. How much, how much did you enjoy the game film, seeing yourself out there for almost around 70 snaps or so? And how much did you learn from that? Did you take a ton of notes from some of the different things that you were doing out there? Yeah, I, I was, I was really, like, excited to see myself on film. And, and so, and after the game, after we broke down the film, I had I had some a lot of stuff to work on, but I also did a lot of stuff well. So it's just, it's just it's just like a uh, like very like it's bittersweet, but mainly sweet out sweet I say. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Next up is Brendan Marks. Brendan, go ahead. Hey, Austin. Thanks so much for taking the time. Uh, Coach Longo was telling us a little bit yesterday how. In the second half, when the offense started breaking off some more of those bigger plays, you know, that you guys sort of realized collectively how deep Syracuse's secondary was playing and, and getting the ball out of Sam's hands a little bit more quickly. On the field, what did that look like to you? How did it feel? Can you, can you tell a difference when the offense shifts from taking more of those big shots to playing more underneath? Oh, yeah. Um, I can definitely tell the difference because, like, when – like, the first half, as you said, we, was, we started off – like slow, we didn't. I think it was the first half was like seven to um three, and so you know how we we like to put up points. So um we came out in the second half with a different mindset, um just to do do our jobs. That's all he talked about, do our jobs. And if we do that, we'll be fine. And then he just Sam just started seeing more open guys, and he just calmed down and completed passes. We started doing our job. Thank you. All right, Greg Barnes, you're up next. Hey, awesome. What was the key for you this off season? You know, not having spring practice, kind of having a uh, segmented summer, at least until you got into June. So, what was the key for you coming off your first year to kind of get yourself ready for this season? Yeah, definitely. I knew I knew from um, the season after the first season, I knew I was going to have the chance to play a lot this season. So, really, I just worked a lot during my off season, getting my pass sets, getting, getting everything down. Like, so I could be ready for when my name is called. So this off season was huge for me. Did you work with uh, a coach or anything up in, up in Pennsylvania uh, to get ready when you weren't able to be in Chapel Hill? I actually didn't go back to um, 
Pennsylvania this okay. um summer, so I was I was up here a lot. Okay. And I didn't I didn't have anyone to work out with. We just did our our mm -hmm. Zoom workouts basically, and you know we did, and I just practiced my sets and stuff on my own. Uh, and the other thing I was going to ask you is in to talking with Coach Brown uh, and Coach Longo. They've never really expressed any concern whatsoever about you playing that left tackle position, even though you're inexperienced. Why do you think that is? What did what do you feel you've done to, to gain their trust so quickly? Yeah, so that's that just shows you how how much they trust me, and and I trust them. And so I I think I just work hard in practice, and they can see they can see how hard I work. So they they trust me to put me in in the game and do my job well. All right. Thank you. All right. Last one for us is uh, CL Brown. CL, go ahead. Hey, I was wondering when you guys are making in-game adjustments kind of on the fly in between possessions, can, can you kind of walk us through what that's like from an offensive lineman's perspective? Like when Coach Stacy gathers you guys on the sideline, is it, is it a lot? Is it more difficult to do that when you're still in the middle of the game or – um, is it, do, do you feel like more relief when you're coming out of halftime and you're trying to make those adjustments? Uh -huh. So we, we make them in game adjustments on the sideline, like you said, and I feel like is it's easier because you know, they're not going to do the same thing they put on film, especially during the first game. So, so we talk about it and then in halftime, we, we actually make some more adjustments and then it's easier to come out and execute it better. So the, those adjustments in games, it's, it's good to see them and, and talk them over, and then we just execute. And um, when you were coming into this season playing left tackle, what was probably your biggest, uh, I don't want to say fear, but just kind mm -hmm. of area that you're like, I got to tighten this up for me to be able to nah, play? Yeah. Um, the biggest part, uh, what I think is me staying square and – and not turning my hips too early, you know. So I I really practiced on that during the off season. I still got like a, a habit, not not like a habit. I still do it sometimes, but is 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 better now. Like I stay square a lot more now. And so appreciate it. All right, sir. Thanks for your time today. Okay. Thank you.